Hello friends, this video on cubes and cube roots part 5 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So it's question time now. Let's try a few questions. Question number 1. Find the smallest number by which each of the following numbers must be multiplied to obtain a perfect cube. Okay, so we are given two numbers 72 and 675. So let's start with the first number. So what do we do? Our first step is to do prime factorization. So 72 is completely divisible by 2. So 2 into 36, again 2 into 18, 2 9s are 18, then 3 3s are 9. So 72 can be written as 2 into 2 into 2 into 3 into 3. So let's divide it into groups of 3. So 2 appears 3 times but 3 appears only 2 times. So therefore this can be written as 2 cube into 3 into 3. So in order to obtain a perfect cube, what is that number by which this should be multiplied? So if we multiply it by another 3, then our job is done because if there is one more 3, then it would become 3 cube. So therefore this number must be multiplied by 3. So we can say that it must be multiplied by 3. Now what will happen after it is multiplied by 3 then it would become 2 cube into 3 cube that is equal to 2 into 3 cube which is equal to 6 cube right so this would become a perfect cube. Similarly let's look at the second one which is 675 so here also first perform prime factorization so it is completely divisible by 5, 5 ones are 5, 5 threes are 15, 5 fives are 25 again 5 twos are 10, 5 sevens are 35 then 3 9s are 27, 3 3s are 9. So 675 can be written as 5 into 5 into 3 into 3 into 3. So when we divide it into groups of 3, so 3 occurs 3 times, but 5 occurs only 2 times. So that means we need to divide, we need to multiply it by 5. So if you multiply it by 5, then what will happen? So in that case, you will have 5 cube into 3 cube, which is equal to 15 cube. So this will be, can become a perfect cube. Question number 2. Find the smallest number by which each of the following numbers must be divided to obtain a perfect cube. So I think the approach would remain the same, just that instead of multiplying this time, what is that number by which we should divide? So the numbers are 135 and 192. So let us first do prime factorization of 135. So 5 into 27, 3 9s are 27, 3 3s are 9. Therefore, 135 can be written as 5 into 3 into 3 into 3. Dividing into groups of 3, 3 exists, occurs 3 times, but 5 occurs only once. So that means this number must be divided by 5 because if you divide it by 5, then 5, 5 will cancel each other. So this 5 will be gone and we will be left with 3 cube which is a perfect cube. So this number must be divided by 5. What about 192? Here also the same uh, technique. 2 9s are 18, 2 6s are 12, 2 4s are 8, 2 8s are 16, 2 2s are 4, 2 4s are 8, 2 12s are 24, 2 6s are 12, 2 3s are 6. Therefore 192 can be written as 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 3. So groups of 3, 2 occurs two, 3 times, again 2 occurs 3 times but 3 is left alone. So this number must be divided by 3 so that we can get rid of this extra 3. So the moment this extra 3 is gone, we will be left with 2 cube into 2 cube which is equal to 4 cube which is a perfect cube. Question number 3. Parikshit makes a cuboid of plasticine of sides 5 cm, 2 cm, 5 cm. So this is how a cuboid looks like. So cuboid has sides 5 cm. Let's say this is 2 cm and this is 5 cm again. How many such cuboids will he need to form a cube? Now how can you make cube with a cuboid by placing multiple cuboids like this such that when you make that arrangement all the three sides should be equal. So now let's think logically. How do you think we can place cuboids of this size so that we get a cube? 
So now when you look at this cuboid, two sides are equal. That is the length and the breadth are equal. Both are 5 cm. But the height is 2 cm. So that means when we are trying to place more cuboids above, let's see if we place 5 cuboids above. So the height will become 5 into 2, that is 10 cm. So in that case, the width and the length should also be 10 cm. So we will have to place two cuboids side by side so that the length also becomes 10 cm. Right? Are you getting my point? Okay, let's look at another way of looking at it. So first of all, let us find out the volume of the cuboid. That is volume of this cuboid. So volume of the cuboid is given by length into breadth into height which is equal to 5 into 2 into 5 that is equal to 50 centimeter cube. This is the volume of this cuboid, right? Now first let's check if this 50 is a perfect cube or not. So is 50 a perfect cube? No, 50 is not a perfect cube. In fact, 50 is not a perfect cube. That is why this is not a cube. That is why it is a cuboid, right? By now we understand any number which is a perfect cube, that number will be able to be the volume of a cube. So in this case, this is a cuboid. So 50 is not a perfect cube. Now let us see, let us do prime factorization of 50. Why am I doing this? We, I'll tell you. So we see when you we look at its prime factorization, it is 2 into 5 into 5, which again proves that 50 is not a perfect cube and that is why this is a cuboid and not a cube. Now, is there any number by which we can multiply this number such that it becomes a perfect cube? Because we want many more cuboids to be placed so that we get a cube. So any cube is formed by a number which is a perfect cube. So do you think that we can multiply this part with any number such that it becomes a perfect cube? Yes, of course, because here you see 5 occurs 2 times. To make it a perfect cube, we need 1 more 5, right? So 1 more 5 is needed. Similarly, 2 occurs 1 time. So to make it a cube, 2 more 2s are needed. So we need 2 2s and 1 5. So basically, this number must be multiplied by 2 2's that is 2 into 2 and 1 5 that is 5. So 2 into 2 into 5. So if you multiply the given number with this number then this becomes a perfect cube. How? So when you multiply this it becomes 2 into 2 into 2 into 5 into 5 into 5 which is equal to 2 cube into 5 cube that is equal to 2 into 5 cube which is equal to 10 cube. So this 10 cube is a perfect cube. This basically means uh, a cube with each side is equal to 10 centimeters. So 10 cube is 1000. So 1000 centimeter cube would be the volume of that cube such that each side is equal to 10 centimeters. So that means how many such cuboids do you need? To make this cube of 1000 centimeter volume, you would need these many cuboids 2 into 2 into 5. What is 2 into 2 into 5? This is 20. So you actually need 20 cuboids to make a cube of volume 1000 centimeter square such that each side of the cube is 10 centimeters. So let us look at the arrangement. So now you see if you have these cuboids, so if you place 20 cuboids like this. So first let's talk about the height. So we have to make the height as 10 because we saw that each side of the cube has to be 10 cm. So right now each side is 2, this is 2. Now when you place 5 such cuboids one above another, then your total height becomes how much? This total height becomes 10, right? Now we also want the length to be 10. So right now this length is 5. So let us place another cuboid here. So then 5 plus 5 all together this becomes 10. So we place cuboids like this. So right now the height is 10, the length is 10. What about the width? So the width is right now 5. So what do we do? We place a cuboid in front of this. So this is also 5. So now the width has also become all together 10. So therefore you place 
Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you. One one 